Ciao Juventino of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, we just start a new month, the month of April, what does that mean? April, competitive football for clubs starts again, and it starts immediately today versus Verona, but look at the calendar, not only Verona will be played in April, we play 9 comp competitive games, twice versus Inter, twice versus Sporting, a month of April that will tell us, yes or no, if in the month of May, Juventus Football Club will be able to play for something important, for silver. Where Coppa Italia Inter is the only last obstacle before reaching the final, and then Sporting is one of the last ones because it's only at the moment a quarter final in Europa League with the hope to go as far as possible in both competitions, trying to win something that can change slightly how we will look at the season in the future. What was 22-23? Was it partially successful or a total disaster? Well, the month of April will be the sliding door for understanding the end of the season. An important word for the month of April will be turnover or rotation, whatever you want, it's the same word. Why? Because we know it, Juventus has a lot of injuries since the beginning of the season. On top of that, the players that were remaining because of a really wrong summer camp and physical training, physical preparation, well, they had to play even more to sub the injured player, what made that never we had a fantastic informed team that was able to play with intensity. We were able to work on heart, on character, on DNA, in terms of grinta, yes, in terms of better playing, solidity in defense, but never 100% perfect. So that means that Juventus is never able to play from the first minute of the game until the 95th with a lot of intensity. That means that we need rotation. We need some players on the bench ready to enter. And we will start already today after the international break with a lot of rotation because we are also thinking about Inter. I hope that we are not thinking too much about Inter, that the players that will be on the field, they will give their max. Like this game is the final of Champions League, because yes, it is important to win versus Verona. You see, it's open on the Corriere dello Sport page, Campionato, why? Campionato means the league in Serie A, Championato, they are playing with Champions League. Why? Because we know it. Today we have Inter against Fiorentina, Juve Verona, tomorrow Napoli, Milan. Four of the teams that we just mentioned will play to participate to the Champions League. Of course, Juventus will also play off the field because on the 19th of April we will know if yes or no we will receive these 15 points, but we have to think on the field to make a maximum of points and then see what will happen. We can still do it, even with the penalization, and that's really important. Championato. But let's speak about the game of today. Uniti, United. We see Locatelli. I predicted Locatelli to score between today or Tuesday against Inter. Attenzione, but I'm happy already that we see Locatelli on the front page of that poster of Uniti, Juve versus Verona of today. What are the lineups, the predicted ones? Well, they are going towards what I anticipate you three days ago, Barrenecea starting. You know it, we have some players that are not there, some players that were decided to bench for rotation. Who is not there? Rabio Paredes. Suspension for Rabio, red card for Paredes. You remember the post game of Inter that we won 2-0. Let's forget about Inter now. Let's now focus on, again, a new month. A new month of April where everyone is starting at zero. They will not be there. Pogba is not there. Miretti has been decided to be on the bench. Or at least that was the last one that was tested yesterday before the game of today in training. Barrenecea, Locatelli and Fagioli. Fagioli has one mission. Continuing to grow. Continuing to offering the performance that he gave us the last few weeks. And staying with his feet on the ground. Attenzione, don't be distracted by all the big, fantastic, beautiful pages that you saw in the end of the month of March during the international break. Chesney into the goal, Perin will play versus Inter. The Brazilian defense will not be able to play today because Alexandro, after three weeks of stop, was decided to be benched, or at least this is what Allegri spoiled a bit yesterday. He will be ready for Inter, he will be on the bench, ready to enter in second half if needed. Otherwise, we see Danilo Bremer Gatti in the midfield, Kostic won the dualism on the left, Ealing Jr. ready to enter to change and to give some rest to the Serban player, Barrenecea Locatelli Fagioli, I told you, Quadrado is winning a duel with De Cilio up front, not Di Maria, because Di Maria just arrived on Thursday night, did one training with the team, we are resting him, managing his 
energy for the game of Inter, so that will be Vlahovic and Keane. Vlahovic turbo boosted after the Serbian two games where he scored three goals. And Moise Keane that yesterday received a lot of beautiful words from Max Allegri, his mentor, his teacher, like Moise Keane was calling him himself two days ago in an article of Corriere dello Sport. Gazzetta is going even further with that rotation, with that turnover, because instead of Vlahovic, they are putting Milik. I don't know. I'm not sure if Milik will be ready to play immediately. Let's see if they are right or wrong. I would be curious. But one thing is sure, having Milik back from the beginning or on the bench is a really important resource for the men of Max Allegri. One that will be there but not able to play but always happy to see him there is Alessandro Del Piero. Alessandro Del Piero in our stadium, in the Allianz Stadium. He should be there, should be confirmed in a few hours. Fantastic. Alessandro Del Piero, ole. Hey guys, uh, when he's there, it's a party. Whatever happens on the field, it's always a party. Pay attention to Verona. Let's not be dragged by the positive results of the month of March. Don't be dragged by Del Piero in the stand and the supporting, chanting and celebrating because you are playing versus a Verona. Verona that is not doing great this season, but still is difficult. They are marking one-on-one, -on -one going on the players, so high pressing. When they are playing, they don't care about building from the back, all up and the goalkeeper try to find immediately someone in the midfield to play the second ball. So, attenzione, and they always have this man that I will forever be grateful for. Faraoni. Faraoni is playing at Verona. We all remember two, three seasons ago the beautiful gift that he gave to the Juventini. So I will never forget about him. So attenzione to Verona. Tutto Sport. Vi vogliamo ancora qui. We go with some extra news. Tutto Sport, we want you still here with the picture of Rabio and the picture of Angel Di Maria. We already spoke about these two men extended in other past videos of a few days with the words of Rabio on Tutto Sport, in, in L'Equipe, etc, etc. Di Maria also leaving the door open to remain at Juve, even without Champions League. Well, why are they again on the papers today? Because yesterday there was Canavino that spoke after a meeting to the journalist saying, yes, we are already working on them. We want them to remain at Juve, but we need, of course, first to understand what will happen first on the 19th of April and then with the other things. But it's really important that we continue to win on the field. We want these players. So these players are open to stay. These players from Juve, we are open to keep them and to extend them. Of course, it will all depend about off the field and also if you are able to reach Champions League or not. They are again speaking about Grimaldo that also is waiting for the situation of Juve for 23-24. Well, speaking about that, we also have to speak with Seferin because Seferin continues to try to seduce Juve, telling them we forget everything, everything you did in the past. If you give up on the Super League and we shake our hands and we go full power with Champions League project. They need us, they want us. I'm not sure if Juve will immediately say yes, but that's something that we will talk in the future, of course. Gazzetta dello Sport is speaking about Lukaku again. I believe that on 365 days, at least they are speaking 330 days about Lukaku. Well, again, Pugno di Lukaku, the fist of Lukaku, I don't even know what they mean and I don't know, want to know what they are speaking about. Let's speak about the one that is on the right side of that page. Juve, potere al max, power to max, decisional power to max, Mercato e sporting director. He will work, apparently, on deciding also who will be the next sporting director. Something totally crazy, to be honest. Guys... I always said sporting director and the coach, they should be like two hands on a belly. I don't know if that expression exists in English, in Dutch it exists. That means they need to go hand in hand. They need to be paired. They need to be aligned with the same vision. But usually, normally, it's the sporting director that is choosing the coach, sporting director that is choosing the strategy and the coach is aligning. Here, apparently, we are doing the things in a different way. Allegri choosing also the sporting director. Well, anyway, if they agree, if they are aligned, why not? Even if I always take it with a grain of salt when it's reported by Gazzetta dello Sport, but apparently Max Allegri should 
remain next year from Juve's side, but apparently also him wants to remain next year. So attention, these were the news for today. I told you a short video. Probably this afternoon, I will put the FIFA video, the prediction of today with the commentary. And this evening on this channel, we go with a watch along and with a post game. Maximum of like if you didn't yet subscribe to the channel. Grazie, forza. Juve.